And a good afternoon, baseball fans. We welcome you one more time. The 2024 Perfect Game here in Atlanta, the Super Regional NIT again brought to you by Perfect Game. My name is Chris Allard. I'll do the play-by-play -play for you this afternoon as day one starts here. We're in Atlanta and, of course, in Augusta, a national event as well. The Masters underway. High winds, rain, all sorts of havoc starting the Masters on Thursday. But things cleared up and the crowds are certainly on hand for a great one. But now it's baseball time. We welcome you here at 643 DP Baseball Organization, the academy here just outside of Atlanta in the Marietta, Georgia area. A great facility. Had an opportunity to talk to the owner, Jay, yesterday. Of course, Miles, one of the managers of the group here and doing a fine job. And, of course, a great weekend of baseball. Wind is modest this afternoon, nothing too significant. But the conditions certainly are ideal here. Again, the 2024 Atlanta Super Regional NIT. Well, two teams going after each other today. Good clubs, local team here out of Atlanta. Team Elite Baseball under the direction of Josh Jones, the head coach for the club. On the defensive side, Prospects National Team will be your home team to start things off on the hill. Mason Muller, number 65 for the club, left-handed hurler for the club. He'll take care of business to start things off. Behind the plate, Nateo Monster Victorio. He'll manage things, the catcher behind home plate. Over on the first base side, Ivan Ortiz, second base position, Aaron Ramirez. Over on the third base side, Easton O'Quinn. Your shortstop in the hot spot in the sixth position. Charlie Blaylock having a good season so far. In left field, Trey Lawrence. Center field, Carter Nash coming back to the club. Has not been around for a couple of the tournaments, but ready to go here for the 2024 season. Rounding things out in right field, Brody Taylor. That's the defensive lineup for you this afternoon. Your head umpire, Reggie, will take care of things. He'll manage the game for us for a perfect game, working with his partner, Austin, on the infield. To start things off, Maddox, the leadoff man, center fielder for Elite Baseball, we are ready to go here this afternoon. Well, once again, conditions are very good for baseball. Temperatures are modest. Supposed to be in the 70s here the last couple of days here, cooling off, but now it's warming up. And we're ready to go. Reggie puts it in play. It's game time. And Moeller runs a fastball up and out. And the count is 1-0. and oh. Mason Moeller joining the club this season, a left-handed hurler for the club. And Moeller comes in just out on the outer half. The count goes to 2-0. and oh. So Maddox, patient in the box, right-handed hitter for Team Elite. And a strike on the outer half gets called. The count goes to two and one. And a ball swung on, fouled back. The count goes even at two and two. So Moeller evens things up here. Maddox steps back in. Ball outside, full count, three and two. And a good cut fouled off, so Maddox staying active, the leadoff hitter for Team Elite. And strike three on the outside, so Moeller 
will start things off against the strikeout. So Nolan Smith, right-handed hitter, wears number three for the club, plays third base, looks at ball one. And the ball is up, the count goes to two and oh. And the ball is hit to the right side. One hopper, Ramirez, off the hop there. Easy play across to Ortiz. They got two down. So Ramirez to Ortiz will bring up the three hitter, Trent Thomas. Two outs here in the top of the first, and Thomas looks at strike one. Four three on the official scorecard on the out for Ramirez to Ortiz. Curveball, check swing. We'll see what Reggie made the call there for us. We'll get it in just a second. 2 count, so foul ball. Well, Thomas looks at a ball, the count goes to one and two. And lower part of the zone. Moeller runs it in on the inner half, a little low, the count goes even to two and two. And strike three on the outside part of the play. Thomas takes a cut. Moeller runs it out. They'll go one, two, three here in the top of the first. Stay with us, folks. We will be right back. Oh, 
Well, back to live action. Here we welcome you to the 2024 Atlanta Super Regional NIT here. Competition being played today here at the Aviation Ball Field, home of 643 Baseball. And of course, the East Cobb Complex as well. I'd like to recognize some of the folks that support 643 organization out here. Marucci, Painting Plus, Better Baseball, Smith Appliances, and Chick fil A. Had an opportunity to talk with Leo from Perfect Game, managing things here alongside of one of the managers for 643 Miles. And of course, an opportunity to talk with Jay yesterday, one of the owners and a fine gentleman and some fine hospitality here and a beautiful facility here at the Academy to learn more about what they're doing. 643 Baseball, check them out online. We'll give you information throughout the course of the tournament. Well, on the defensive side, to start things off, Thomas will pitch Trent taking care of business there behind the plate. Trenton Naranjo over on the first base side. Edinburgh, second base, Bragg. Over in third base will be Smith, shortstop Grant. And we'll get the rest of the lineup as Charlie Blaylock steps in for the prospects. Blaylock, right side, line drive, gets through on the first base side. Down the line it goes. And Blaylock gets on board with a single. So the prospects, one pitch, will put Blaylock on board, stepping in the two-hitter and the tail monster Victorio. Blaylock with good speed, always a threat on the bases. First baseman Ellenberg, ball is up, the count's 1-0 and to Victorio. Kyler Ellenberg, first baseman, holding play lock on. Coach Carlos Avila, the skipper down on the third base side. Trent over on the first base side, coaching there. Play lock. Ball's outside. The count goes to 2-0. Curveball, good looking pitch there. And the count is two and one. Victorio steps in, Blaylock over at first. Ellenberg holding him on, Blaylock with good speed on the move. Ball's thrown down, second base, a little bit offline, gets into center field, a good backup. And the count is three and one, and Blaylock will move up 90 feet to second. And the ball is low, ball four. So Victorio gets on with a walk. And the prospects runners at first and second. Stepping in Easton O'Quinn, number 16, right-handed hitter for the prospects. They're going to run for Victorio over on the first base side. Josiah Park steps onto the bases. Pitch on the way. Foul back. And the count is 0-1 on O'Quinn. So Thomas works ahead here. Bottom of the first inning, no score. Game number one of two today here in the 2024 Atlanta Regional Super NIT. Runners on the move, throw down to third, a one hopper. That gets into left field. Blaylock with good speed on the way. And heading into third is in time. So Josiah Park takes advantage there of the overthrow, and he'll pick up two extra. So they get one on the overthrow. Blaylock scores and in Park into third. Well, the prospects strike first. The count goes to... Left field, deep ball, that ball to the left side is tailing and out of play. So, solid knock for O'Quinn, pulls it foul to the left side.
The count is one and two with Josiah Park over on the third base side. And swing and a miss on the outside. So, so like that, Trent Thomas will get the strikeout. Trey Lawrence steps in. Lawrence hits in this four spot. Fastball up. The count is 1-0. and oh. Josiah Park at third. Blaylock scored on the overthrow down to the third base side. A 1-0 pitch on the way. Fastball outside. The count goes to 2-0. and oh. now Lawrence patient here for the prospects. Here in the bottom of the first inning. And swung on, good cut there. Again on the fastball, lower part of the plate on the outside. Foul back, the count goes to two and one. But Thomas, ready to deal, pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the outside, the count goes to two and two. So Trent Thomas evens things up here with one out on the books here in the bottom of the first. The 2-2 pitch, fouled straight back. Curveball, drop three at his feet. And nothing down on the first base side. Catcher came out of the pop there. And Trey Lawrence takes advantage there. So Lawrence down to first. Stepping in Brody Taylor with runners at the corners. Reggie, our head umpire, little housekeeping at home plate, takes care of business there. Time is called there, catcher sending some defensive communication out to his team here. The count is 1-0. Taylor ready to go, lefty-lefty match up here. Trent Thomas ready to deal. Ball is up, a good grab, throw down to the third base side. That gets through, and Josiah Park will move up 90 feet and score. And Lawrence over to second base. So two overthrows bring two men across. And the count is 2-0 to Brody Taylor with Trey Lawrence over on the second base side. So Trent Thomas here looking for an out with... One out, curveball on the outside, the count's three and oh. A long look, pitch on the way. Ball's up, so Brody Taylor gets on board with the walk. And here with one out, we'll bring up Dre Murakami. Another lefty-lefty matchup, time called. Coach Jones heads out to the mound. Stay with us. We will be right back.
Go well, back to action here. Dre Murakami steps in with Lawrence at second. Shortstop in tight. Pitch on the way. Curveball. Good looking pitch there. In for the strike. So Trent Thomas will work ahead here in the count. As we get a little bit of wind blowing in from center field, as anticipated, but hopefully nothing too significant throughout the day. A long look. Pitch on the way. Good block out in front. And the count goes to one and one. Brody Taylor at first. Curve ball. Good block. Behind home plate. Naranjo Tristan keeping it out in front for Team Elite. And the count goes to two and one here with one out. Bottom of the first two zero for the prospects. On two overthrows down to the third base side. Fastball swung on. Fouled straight back. The count goes to two and two. Two balls, two strikes. One. And strike three call there. Murakami gets caught looking. Lawrence takes off. And a good looking pitch there for Trent Thomas, the pitcher here. Takes care of business there. Two outs on the books. Moving up 90 feet. It's Carter Nash and Brody Taylor on the first base side. Correction, Trey Lawrence. Aaron Ramirez steps in, another left-handed hitter for the club. Ramirez is a good bat here. We'll see what he can do with men at the corners. On the move, no throw. We'll let Taylor go. Count is 0-1. Lawrence works ahead. Chopper, third base side. Should be a routine play. A little bobble there is not in time. Taylor moves over to the third, and Ramirez gets on board with a single. And they bring one over. Stepping in Carter Nash. Runners at the corners, 3-0 prospects here in the bottom of the first inning. Runner on the move. Bach is called, and so like that, the walk one in. Trent Thomas just didn't come set. Taylor will score from third. And that's the fourth run there. No pitch, two outs. 4-0 prospects. And a good block out in front. The ball is low. The count's 1-0. and oh. Joining me today, Leo, one of the part of the management team here with Perfect Game, running things here at 643 Club. Leo, welcome, man. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Chris. How are you doing today? I'm doing good, man. Another great tournament put on by Perfect Game here. And uh, big cut and swing there for Carter Nash. And the count goes to 1-1. One and one. It's great to see youth baseball back at it. Springtime's here, right? Yes, man. Beautiful day. Lovely weather out here in the Georgia today. Um, we're up in Marietta area, if you guys didn't know. Um, 643 Aviation Sports Complex. Yeah, it's a great place. I had an opportunity yesterday. Foul ball 1-2 and two to Carter Nash. I talked to Jay yesterday and, uh, you know, just his crew and Miles and everybody getting things ready. And uh, it's exciting to kind of see spring is upon us right yeah, after yeah, some yeah. funky weather, yeah. some rain. And... Uh, all the wind and chaos. You guys got to be happy about getting back oh, at it. Definitely, yeah. It's been a hectic uh, springtime this year. This is last night was our first Friday game. We actually got in. Um, every other game has been canceled during the spring because of rain. Yeah, so, it's uh, been wild, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. what a winter this year, and, so, and it just seems like we're normally you guys are playing a little bit more frequently, yeah, right? It kind of kind of put a hinder on things with a two-two count here, as Ramirez ends up on the drop catch there to third base. Curveball. Yeah, the inner half. Good looking curve, good huh? Wear. That was nice. I'll tell you, good looking Big pitch there. there. 
So yeah, Carter no. Nash will have a seat, but uh, that'll do it here. We'll head to the top of the second, the ZT Prospects leading 4-0. So, you know, talking about spring baseball and what's going on with Perfect Game, of course, you've got the East Cobb Complex, which yeah. full speed ahead, and, and certainly out here with 6-4-3. Uh, looking forward to a good season this year? Yeah, looking forward to this very competitive season, I should say. I mean, these kids have really worked hard over the winter time and coming into the springtime. Got some, got some good prospects out here. Right yeah, I, I'm really impressed. I mean, it's amazing that we see. And, and for a lot of these guys at the 13 level, they're coming off of 12s, you know, 54 or 50, 70, and now going to 60, 90. You see that transition. Yeah. But, you know, you're seeing the level of play really, I, I think, elevate itself. Yeah, it has. It has elevated. These kids, are. I think they're just playing twice as much baseball, which is giving them twice as much confidence um, to be able to play at another level. And then at work on the off, uh, off the season, you know, off the field. That's right. what's really doing the work for them. Yeah. Um, this transition from you know the 50 to 70 to the 60 90, 60, yeah. 90. I mean, you got to do a lot of leg work a lot of pushing off trying to trying to get to that that arm that throw that catcher right here making that throw it's a it's a beautiful thing to see these kids move up man. yeah the competition level too is unbelievable at the 13 majors like, division it's amazing. I mean some of these kids can probably start at the high school level yeah so. yeah <laughs> no for sure and and I, I think it's it's just kind of a testament to see how talented the youth has become and I think you know, the platform that Perfect Game has provided for these athletes to really sort of creates that roadway, right? Yeah, whether you're yeah. playing majors, you're playing triple A, whether you're playing open, whatever level you're at, yeah. there's a roadmap. And it seems like a lot of these athletes have been able to really excel because of yeah. what you guys offer. 100 percent. And then, you know, during the off season, we've uh, acquired and, uh, the help of some major league uh, guys over the winter, Mo Vaughn and guys like that. And um, we're, hopefully that platform is going to add to what we're already doing. We just want to build and just keep building for these kids yeah I mean, absolutely about. And, and you're right that's what it's about I mean you know again they're young but you're still you see this maturity level in these players at such a young age right. as Muller comes inside just you know even the pitching location being able to have command and control of the play to so Muller gets a strike back the count goes even to one and one here but yeah I think you know it's talking about that it's uh, it's exciting and it's refreshing to see the youth really progressing yeah 100 percent 100 percent they're uh their understanding is IQ level is totally different than what it was maybe five years ago. And yeah, it's, it's know, a different game, right? Yeah. I mean, I, but, but you know, a lot of what you're saying, too, is like what's happening in the off season, right? So a lot of these kids are doing so much work outside of competing mm -hmm. on their travel teams mm -hmm. or, you know, wherever they're playing on a local level, et cetera. It just seems like a lot of that's changed. Yeah. High fly ball to the right side and out of play. Chris, for most of these kids, the progression is coming from off the field. You know, it's, they, they're not going to get any better, you know, on the field. The reps aren't enough a lot of times. So. Yeah, I agree, and I think you know that's that's the thing. It's what you do outside of the game, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And and you see the progression though, and I think that you know a lot of these kids are at home, they're training, you know, they're, they're working out with their local teams or whatever might be the case, but. Uh, I think that's right. And you see a lot of academies. I mean, for example, what you guys do here, this academy speaks volumes yeah. to what you do with players. You put them into your system and they grow throughout the entire journey of their Correct. baseball life until they get to high school and even, you know, more so beyond high school. Mm -hmm. no, 100%. So Moeller will pick up the K there. He'll get the strikeout on his battery faces there. That was Grant, number 12. Bryce has a seat there. The shortstop stepping in will be Merrick Zolinski comes in as the extra hitter here. Zolinski hitting in the five spot. And the ball hit the center field, shallow, infield moving, and over on the shortstop side, Charlie Blaylock calls off the second baseman, Ramirez, and two up, two down here. Nice play. Good move. Communication on the field, yeah, always yeah, key, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't sure if you seen him at first. Yeah. <laughs> and the count is 0-1. So Tristan Najaro looks at a 1-1 count here.
with two outs here. In the top of the second, pitch on the way, fastball swung on in the outer part of the plate, fouled back, the count goes to one and two. Quite a few tournaments are ran here, right, throughout the season. You guys do quite a bit of work here, and then, of course, you know, the different age groups. I was talking to Jay, you guys go up to, what, 16, 17, 18 up here yes, to the play? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, right now, we're waiting for high school to finish up, and yeah. we'll start that up at the end of uh, April, Yeah. and we'll go all the way until, shoot, August, uh, end of, uh, beginning of August, I should say. Oh. Yeah, I was talking to Jay yesterday, and he was pointing out the other field that you have uh, just next to us here. This is a this is a 300 all the way around. This yeah. field's you know, your bigger field's 323 in the corners, yeah. and what, almost 370 something in the yeah, deep center. center. So yeah. hey, you're not too far off of Truist Park, yeah, right? That's a big big boy park over there. <laughs> yeah, um, for sure. Swing and a miss, drop three. Victoria will clear the lane, throw down to Ortiz, and they'll turn it over one, two, three. Yeah, definitely a big boy park over there. Yeah, certainly a, a, a big difference. But talk about the academy a little bit here. I mean, from you know, I hear they're developing players. It's kind of like you start out, you come in in a tryout, you get placed, Placement, and you play yeah. for the organization pretty much through the whole year, right? Yeah, yeah. you play through the whole year, um, get get your exposure, basically. You can move up, move down in your in your rankings. Um, but the, the point is is to move up in the rankings um, or keep a stable right. you know, uh, ranking. And basically, by the end of the season, see where, you, see where you're at, you know, do an assumption. Uh, uh, but a lot of training and development, though. It sounds it's like. more like during the week. They're there during the week. They're there on the weekends. Right. Um, you you got a lot of intense training. Right. Um, and these kids are getting a lot of IQ work too. A lot of a lot of book work of, of, yeah. of baseball. Absolutely. Which a lot of kids don't get. Um, yeah. They, a lot of kids don't understand the actual, you know, P's and Q's of baseball. They may know the field, and they may hear the terminology, but to actually see it firsthand. And to get taught firsthand, that's what they're learning. Yeah, it's it's situational baseball, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to have the IQ to know like what is the situation, or at least being able to anticipate what's happening, and Correct. you know where do I go, how do I make this play, etc. Mm -hmm. right? So, yeah, I, yeah. so it's, it's really great that you know academies are doing that, and you know obviously what Jay and his team and everybody's supporting baseball around this area, uh, you know, you're learning the game the right yeah, way. Yeah, 100 percent. You know, it's not all holding them on. One and all. You're working that breaking ball. So Suzuki gets a knock down to the right side on board with a single. And runner at first base here with 6-0 on the boards. Here in the bottom of the second, we'll bring up Charlie Blaylock back to the top of the order. So kind of talking about, you know, playing at this level, it's, it's really, I think it's good experience. It's hard sometimes, but, you know, it's really kind of develops character and how do you handle yourself, right, yeah. in these situations, you know. Good pitch there. Puts the test to the kids on yeah. their maturity level. Um, you know, some of these kids are already mature at the level that they need to be. Some kids need to grow up. Yeah. This is the place to do it. Yeah, they, they find out quickly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I think it's great, you know, and it, but at least there's a pathway, you yeah, know, and you yeah, can learn, 100%. you can take away things and the value that, that you get out of, you know, not only playing the game, but creating character, self-esteem, and these are young kids, you know, and they're, they're moving through that process and their journey, because it is a long path, It's a long right? path, you know, but it, it, it's, it's building life characteristics, you know, it's building life, you know, moments for yourself and your friends, and then you're taking that on into, you know, the world. Absolutely. It's teaching you some things that you probably didn't know you learned until you actually get out there, and you're like, oh, man, I, yeah. I know how to handle myself. I Absolutely, know. how to persevere, <laughs> how to face challenges, how to deal with failure, yeah. you know, things like that, because that's all part of life, as the ball gets away behind the plate, and Suzuki will move off. Yeah, but this is the age of make or break. So most of these kids are, I want to say, they're done playing baseball after this year. Or they, they I think that, yeah, some will move on, right? You know, I mean, 60-90 is really the test. And I mean, you got to think you're going to high school next year. So it's like if you're not playing for your, your uh, 
area club ball, and you don't make your high school team, you, know, you pretty much don't have any options to play. So yeah, it's travel ball you can continue to stay mm -hmm. kind of in the game. You know, if you want to play club ball and do that versus high school, if you can't, you know, get out there. But uh, I think there's opportunities Just right across plus the board. Plus size for teams that you know, like programs here, you got three to four teams for each age group. Yeah, you know, absolutely. So, they, you know, so whether you're playing at majors or maybe a triple A mm -hmm. level or an open or whatever, I mean, it gives you an opportunity to at least Correct. continue to stay in your athletic life. Ball. And the ball's low there, a little delay at the feet, and taking advantage there. And Suzuki <laughs> moves up 90 feet, and the count goes to three and two, a full count here on Charlie Blaylock. And that's the difference maker, right? You know, you see little things like that happening, you know, and that kind of creates that separation. But yeah. And the ball back up the middle, shortstop of the grab should have a play there, and in time. So Charlie Blaylock will bring across the run. He'll get an RBI there on the out. And they pick up their seventh run here. Stepping in to tail Victorio. And the bases are cleared. <laughs> I'd like to thank Denarius also with Perfect Game, doing an outstanding job, keeping the score moving along. and. Uh, the official scorer here for Perfect Game. Again, there's a lot of work behind the scenes as strike starts off there for Trent Thomas. Works ahead, the count is 0-1. Nearest is my go-to on Friday. So there you go. Friday mornings. I like to hear it. <laughs> well, I've had a couple conversations with him. He he says he's interested maybe in some broadcasting. Maybe we'll throw him the mm -hmm. mic here and uh, and pick him up for a couple of give, give him a give him a shot at well, it. What do you think, Leo? He might, he might be all right for that. He, he could he be. be. Yeah. No, <laughs> fine young man. Denarius doing some work for PG. Oh, well hit ball. Thanks. Rip off the right side. That's going to be into the fence line. Right oh, fielder double. moves. Rounding a long throw in. They'll cut it there and in with a double. So Victorio goes hard to the right side in with the double. Keep the inning moving here. And Jones heading out to the mound here and possible pitching change. Stay with us, folks. We will be right back. I think about trying to figure out. So a pitching change for Elite Baseball. Right-handed hurler comes in. So Zolinski comes in. And the right-handed hurler gets his warm-up tosses. And Zolinski takes over on the hill for the pitcher that started, Trent Thomas. And the prospects getting there early. Coach behind the dish here. <laughs> Coach Jones out there looking at his pitcher like, hey, what happened there? 
So Zelensky takes a couple more tosses. We'll be ready to go here as the prospects lead this one. Day number one, the 2024 Atlanta Super Regional NIT brought to you by Perfect Game here at the Aviation Fields of 643 Baseball. Now we're ready to go. Reggie will put it in play. His partner, Austin, on the infield. Runner at second base. And Zelensky ready to go. Count is 1 0 to the batter, Easton O'Quinn. Quinn takes the cut. The count goes to one and one. Josiah Park at second base. Running for Victoria. Got in there with a double to start it off. Ball's hit back to the middle. That'll go right up. That'll bring Josiah Park rounding third hard and an RBI. So O'Quinn gets a rip, a solid knock. Bat up, back up the middle there on board with a single and an RBI. They pick up their eighth here in the bottom of the second. That'll bring up the batter number one, Trey Lawrence, with one out here. So Easton O'Quinn. And that ball gets away, O'Quinn on the move, he'll end up at second. Ball's low, the count is 2-0. Zelensky, a long look at second. O'Quinn, good stop behind the plate. The count goes to 3-0. and And a ball's outside, ball four, and that'll move up O'Quinn to third. And Lawrence gets on board with a walk here in the bottom of the second, which brings up Brody Taylor. Taylor. On board. The hit is last at bat. Runners at the corners here, throw over to the first base side. Kyler Ellenberg over on the first base side for Elite holding on Lawrence. Taylor hitting in the sixth spot here. So Lawrence moves up 90 feet to second. Taylor looks at a ball, the count is 1 0. Pitch, strike on the inner half. Taylor takes a look there. Count goes even to one and one. And hit by pitch there. Taylor takes one off the, it's like the quad area and gets on board hit by pitch. And that'll bring up Dre Murakami, so a visit out to the mound for Coach Jones. And that could be short work there possibly, or just taking a moment just to settle down his pitcher, Eric Solinsky. So that's gonna do it for Solinsky. Jones makes the change here and coming in will be Number 44.
And we'll get a name on that momentarily. Looks like Caden Ponder. Pander, I should say. Caden comes in, number 44. So, Denarius, thank you for that one, keeping things in check here with us here at Perfect Game and the official score. So, Pander will come in. We will have a pitching change. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, back to live action. We're ready to go. Cade Ponder takes over on the hill as Reggie cleans things off at home plate, our head umpire here today for Perfect Game. Working with Austin, of course, keeping things official. Denarius here working for Perfect Game. We're ready to go. Dre Murakami will step in. Runners at first and second and third. Bases loaded. Opportunity here for Murakami. And a good block out in front. The count is 1-0. And a strike there. Count goes to one and one. Murakami looks at a 2-1 count. Ponder ready to deal. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss there. Good-looking pitch. And the count goes even to 2-2 two and two here with one out in the bottom of the second. Prospects jumping out early here on the offensive side, leading this one 8-0. Bases loaded here. The 2-2 pitch. Curveball. Foul tip. In and out of the glove of the catcher, Morango. Ball's hit deep, right field. That ball's got some carry to it, and that ball is gone. A grand slam for Dre Murakami goes deep to right center. So Murakami, he delivers the big punch, and no doubter there, deep to right. And a grand slam for Murakami. So Murakami 
with the grand slam there. And he goes deep to the right side, center field. Pounder hung that one out there, and McCurr Murakami got all of it. And it's 12-0 here. Stepping in, Aaron Ramirez with the bags cleared here on the Grand Slam. And Ramirez, left fielder backing up. Looks like he has a good route there. That ball drops in, and Ramirez on his way to second. And he'll round there and check up. So Ramirez ends up with a double. Stepping in, number 12, Carter Nash. Ball's outside, the count is 1-0. Oh. 2-0 count, Nash lays off there. And swing and a miss on the outer half. <clears throat> Count goes to two and one. Ponder runs it on the outside part of the plate. Nash goes after it. And a two one count. A long look at second, pitch on the way. Ball's outside. The count goes to three and one. Nash disciplined at the plate. Ball's outside, ball four. So Nash gets on board with a walk, and that'll bring up Ivan Ortiz, the first baseman for the club. Runners at first and second here with one out. Ball's hit to the third base side. That gets through. Ortiz and rounding is Ramirez. The throw in coming in at home. And a quick play back to third. That'll move up Nash. And Ortiz will end up at second. Time is called. Coach Josh Jones heads out to the mound. Quick conversation with his pitcher, Ponder, just to settle him down a little bit here. And that's going to be it. They're going to change pitchers here. And they've got a guy coming in from the dugout. We'll let you know who that is with us in just a moment. We'll be right back. So a pitching change for Elite Baseball. Book Maddox comes in, right-handed hurler for the club. He'll take his warm-up tosses as we're in the bottom of the second inning. It's 
believe we had 13. We'll double check it. We've got 12 up on the board, and we've got 13 on the last play. So Denarius gets that corrected on the official scoreboard out there. Thank you, sir. So Reggie will get it back in play, and that'll bring up Bryant Mambajou. Bryant had a home run, a two-run shot, his last at bat. as Bryant will step back in with runners at second and third. Ortiz at second, Carter Nash at third. Pitch on the way. Ball's hit to the left side in the gap. And here comes one in Carter Nash, rounding Ortiz with good speed. He'll get in standing up. So Mamba, after a two-run homer, he'll get on board with a single and a two-shot RBI. Stepping in number 22, Habiki Suzuki. <clears throat> Ball is up, the count is 1 0. Throw over to the first base side. Ellenberg puts the tag on, and Bryant's able to get back in time. Good move from Maddox off of the mound there. Takes a long look, pitch on the way. Ball swung on, right side, could stay in play. Good charge down the line from the right fielder. And Habicki will stop at first and move up and the ball's in play there, so in at third base, the tag is on. And <clears throat> so getting into third there is Bryant Yu. And Suzuki at second. Substitution here, Josiah Park will step in. So Park fouls it off. Runners at second and third for the prospects. And a good block there behind the plate. Gets away. We're shallow here in the fence line. We're only about 20 feet back behind home plate. So good move. This catcher comes out quickly. Tristan keeping it in play. No runners stay parked there. The count is one and one. And the ball's hit deep to center field. That ball is a no-doubter, and that thing is long gone. So Josiah Park steps in and goes deep to center field. And a three-run bomb there. Now the prospects' bats are hot here this afternoon for game one. So Josiah Park comes in off the bench. He's been running, got a chance at the plate, and delivers. Deep to center field, 300 feet plus. That'll bring up number four, Mateo Victorio. Reggie puts it in play here in the bottom of the second inning. And Victorio steps in. Mateo takes a cut, fouls it back. The count is 0-1.
So Victoria looks at a 1-1 one, one count. Play to second base, across the deck in time. A good play defensively there. And so Victoria will have a seat. Stepping in Easton O'Quinn. Two outs on the books here in the bottom of the second. And a rip to the left side goes foul. So Bragg with a good defensive effort there for Elite gets the out. And the count is 0-1 on Easton O'Quinn. And O'Quinn takes a cut foul. That ball's out of play. So the count goes to 0 and 2. And the count goes to one and two. And that ball's deep. You could hear it off the barrel of Quinn. A solo shot. That's a monster to the left side, deep in the left center. And O'Quinn, solo home run, will pick up their 19th here. Coach Jones heads on out to the bump. And a little bit of shuffling there. That might be it for Maddox. As the coach making a possible change here, we'll let you know. Stay with us. So Maddox stays on the hill. Trey Lawrence in the box for the prospects. Count is 1-0. and oh. Trey playing off. Maddox locates the outer half, and he'll even things up at 1-1. One and one. Pitch just missing outside. The count goes to two and one. Reggie, our head umpire with the call, managing the game, doing a fine job for perfect game here this weekend. The count is two and one. Working with his partner, Austin, on the infield. The two one pitch. And the ball's up. The count goes to three and one. 
So Trey disciplined at the plate, looking for an opportunity here for himself with the bases cleared. And a strike, good pitch there up the middle. The count goes full to three and two. And a cut fouled straight back, so Lawrence stays in there. And Maddox looking for an out here with two outs, and Trey Lawrence looking to keep the inning extended here. And as the bats have stayed hot here for the prospects today so far. And a big cut on the outside, so Maddox will get the K. Not before the prospects playing the long ball game here today. They lead this one 19-0. We'll head to the top of the third, a long second inning. The prospects with some big hits here today. We'll continue to roll on. Top of the third, my name is Chris Allard. For Perfect Game in the ZT Baseball Organization, the 2024 Perfect Game Atlanta Super Regional in IT. Stay with us, folks. We will be right back for the top of the third. Well, back to live action. We are ready to roll here. And Mateo Victorio sends it down to second base. Mason Muller stays on the hill for the prospects as we're here in the top of the third inning. The prospects, just to give you a backstory on what's happening, the long ball has certainly been their friends today. They lead this one 19-0. We're in the third inning, and the run ruling situation is 15 after three. They need to get three outs, and they've got this first game wrapped up as Muller will start off with a strike. And the count is 0-1. Elite staying in the game and positive. That's the key. Again, a great opportunity learning, playing against some of the better players in the country. And ball's hit to the right side. And a trouble there. So Brian Chu. And reach on air there for the leadoff hitter. So Brian, usually a routine play from the first base side. We'll put the first batter on. So a single. On board for Elite, they get their runner on base. And that's going to do it for Muller. Coach Ronnie heads on out. And they're going to turn the ball over to Hibiki Suzuki. Stay with us, folks. We will be right back. Well, back to live action here. Taking over on the hill, Habiki Suzuki, the right-hander for the ZT Prospects national team. 
the prospects off to a good start here in 2024. A couple of new additions to the organization, and of course the prospects looking to continue their quest in the 2024 season. And an opportunity here this weekend in Atlanta to continue to get the spring ball in motion and to learn more about the ZT Baseball organization, go to the ZT Baseball Facebook page. And if you're traveling into the Houston area looking for a facility, there's the Elite Academy just outside of Houston and in Southern California next to Angel Stadium. The Elite Academy out there, Coach Carlos Avila, the director of baseball, running that facility in Southern California. We're ready to go. And a ball swung on, fouled off. Caden Pander in the box there, left-handed hitter. The count goes to 0-1. One strike, strike. Fastball on the inner half of the plate. Suzuki locates there, a good-looking pitch. The count is 0-2 on the fastball. Pounder takes a look. He'll step back in, runner it. First base, Brian Chu holding on on the first base side. And a big cut on the outside there. That'll do it. Suzuki will step in, and Pander will have a seat. Suzuki picks up the K. Tyler Ellenberg steps in, the first baseman for Elite. He's got a runner at first, pitch on the way. Ball's hit to the right side, that gets through, a well-hit ball. So Ellenberg gets on board with a single, and they've got runners at first and second. So a well-hit ball for Kyler. Wyatt Bragg will step in with runners at first and second here and one out. So the bats for Elite are waking up here in the top of the third. And Suzuki gets it through. The count is 0-1. So Bragg takes a cut there. Suzuki works ahead. Time is called. Reggie grants it at the plate. Wyatt steps out. He'll reload and step back in. Victorio sets up. Curveball on the outside. Swing there, and the count goes to 0 2. So good movement there for Suzuki. And an 0 2 count. Throw over to first base. They got him tied up here. So Bryant gets one there. He's going to go and across the plate. And like that, that'll do it. So a 3-5 double play actually went runner out to five. So a tag out and over to the third base side. So that'll do it. So that'll wrap it up. The ZT Prospects national team, they come out early. The hot, bats were hot and heavy. There's no question about that. They win this one, 19 in a run rule over Elite. And Elite will continue to play through. An opportunity for them. Next matchup, scheduled at 2.30 today. Looking to try to get an earlier start with our head umpire, Reggie, in Austin. And we'll probably shoot towards about 30 minutes, about 2.15, they're going to try to get an early start, so stay with us as Game 1 is officially in the books. The 2024 
Perfect game. Super Regional NIT here in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Chris Aller doing the play-by-play. -play. For Daenerys, behind things, keeping things official, I'd like to thank Daenerys for his work. Of course, Leo with Perfect Game had an opportunity to talk to him earlier just about what's happening out here. And of course, the good folks from the aviation baseball field, 643 Baseball, their academy, their headquarters. It's been a great one so far. Beautiful fields and a gorgeous day for baseball. For now, the prospects. They get the first one in the books, the second one coming up here in about 30 minutes. Stay with us. We will come back live. We hope you're enjoying it. Thanks. We'll see you soon.